We have identified that there's a damaged air valve on our network just near the Hillhead Reservoir, um, but we absolutely want to make sure that that is the only source and therefore are just ensuring we've gone through all the right operational procedures. So just to clarify, what, there's damaged air valve. Um, what exactly is that air valve and, uh, for? so people understand, because people don't, you know, understand these underground reservoirs, myself included. And um, are we talking about, what, animal faeces, something that's got in there? Um, what's your working assumption there? So we understand that this is a valve on one of the pipes that head towards the Hillhead Reservoir, not on the reservoir itself. It's in a farmer's field, um, and I understand that there are cattle in that field, and therefore there's, there's a possibility that that is therefore the source of the contamination. People will question how on earth this could have happened. Uh, so we do sampling across our network to try and ensure that the water we're providing is of um, excellent water quality standards. We do uh, regular sampling and we know that the water leaving our treatment works has been, met all of those standards. Uh, we do um, also do sampling further along that network. Clearly in this scenario there has been some damage or some cause of ingress. As I say, we're trying to ensure that we know the full cause and we can link that back to the contamination. That work is still underway. Um, but this damaged air valve does look like uh, it's a potential source. How long is this going to last? So we are still, as I say, working through the operational um, processes to ensure that we absolutely can link the root causes. We also then need to take steps to uh, repair any damage that might exist and to also then ensure that we've uh, flushed any issues through the network um, and that we have monitored and ensured absolute um, quality of the water going through it before we can lift the notice. But people will you know, want an indication. Are we talking another week? Could it be a month? How long is this going to take for people to be able to have their water back? We are working hard to be able to give um, more, more decisive information about that um, timeline. At this stage, we absolutely want to ensure that we're giving the right information for customers.